What's up, people? See this thing right here? This thing's awesome. I'm making for a bunch of different bikes and a bunch of different styles. Pretty much universal for most bikes, depending upon uh, your kickstand size or whatever. It's like a, they call it a 3D footprint or something like that. Or it basically it basically increases the footprint size of the kickstand on the side or your side stand. Your kickstand, yeah, you get it. You know what I'm saying. You know what, you're picking up what I'm putting down here. Uh, yeah, I got hit that. That was funny. Um, why is it cool? Well, first off, it makes it easier to put your kickstand down with your foot. I mean, it sounds really silly and stupid, but it makes it a lot easier. Um, which is always handy. This, I always like things being easier. Um, and uh, for adventure bikes, you know, dual sport bikes, uh, they're really nice because now you can put your uh, kickstand down on softer terrain like sand and dirt. Because before with the kickstand, almost all stock kickstands, or pretty much all stock kickstands, are very narrow. So it'll just burrow, you know, the weight, all that weight is resting on such a narrow surface that it just goes, uh, it'll just sink in and the bike can get stuck or topple over. And I heard a story of that actually happened to a bunch of riders. One bike toppled over into the other bikes and made like a domino effect, uh, which sucks. That's an expensive domino. And uh, even for um, for uh, sport bikes and bikes that are just pretty much road bike only, like Harley types and whatnot, uh, it can be very handy because of the um, of the summertime. You know, if you got tar or, or fresh blacktop, when it gets hot out, that stuff gets soft, and you can probably notice it. You probably notice um, grooves and fresh, freshly laid blacktop are just like. After it cured enough or it's able to be used, you start using it. You put something that's kind of heavy with narrow, narrow footprints on it, and it'll sink in a little bit. Same thing can happen to a bike, side stand or center stand. So that's why when they teach you at the NSF course, they tell you to take a, a, a coke can or something, something that's got a big footprint and thin, and carry it with you if you're going to ride in the, in the summertime and maybe you don't know where you're going to be able to park it, because it looks like fresh black, almost like wet blacktop, the fresh look like over there, uh, you can sink into it and put that down and you don't sink into it. So this is always attached to your kickstand, you don't have to worry about forgetting it or anything like that. So it's just something handy to have. Um, and uh, I just wanted to point it out because I've had it, I've ridden without it before. The kickstand, I can get it down no problem, but now it's just no question, the first time every time. And I'm sure some of you might not admit it, but every so often you miss the kickstand when you put in your side kicks and then you gotta fumble for it a little bit. And it's the same deal with my bike, and now I don't fumble for it at all. It's pretty great. So, uh, yeah. A little bit of a footprint extender thingy for the side stand. Peace.